Beans and vegetables are cultivated all around the world. Beans, vegetables and other crops are often attacked by aphids. Aphids are small, green or black insects. Aphids attack many crops like beans, mustard, cabbage and beetle leaf. Aphids damage the plant by sucking the juice, so the plant grows more slowly. Aphids can also transfer virus diseases from sick to healthy plants. In this video, we will see how farmers in Bangladesh manage aphids without chemical pesticides. But let us first see how aphids live. Aphids live in colonies and damage the flowers and fruits by sucking juice from them. Because of the aphid damage, the crops cannot grow further. Aphids have soft bodies. When the sun gets hot, aphids move to the underside of the leaves to stay cool and to avoid drying out. Rainwater also damages the soft bodies of aphids, so they are more of a problem in the dry season than in the rainy season. When aphids become adults, some of them grow wings and fly to other plants and fields. The waste of aphids is little bit sweet and is called honeydew. Ants come to eat the honeydew and then they protect the aphids. Now that we know how aphids live, let us learn some ways to control them. Visit your field regularly to look for aphids. You may see aphids of different ages, usually living in large groups or colonies. When you see aphids, you can destroy them by pressing them with your fingers. Walk down the rows and hand kill the aphids on all the infested plants. Most aphids cannot fly, so we can easily kill them in the place where they live. Once our beans have grown, we observe them in the morning and evening. Some of the plants have black insects called aphids. These insects attack the vegetables and stay on the tips of the plants of the flowers. We kill them by pressing with our hands. After that, the attack is less and they do not spread from the tip. You can also sprinkle cool ash in the early morning when there is a dew on the plants, so the ash sticks to the wet surface of the leaves. Ash helps to make leaves hard and aphids cannot suck juice from the leaves. The ash will also disturb the ants and scare them away. Never use the ash of mustard, bamboo leaves or banana leaves because this ash is too strong and will burn the vegetable plants. Use wood ash or the ash of rice straw or rice husk because it will not hurt the plants. The ash of tree leaves, bamboo leaves and mustard branches and leaves may be toxic to the vegetable plants, so never put this ash onto vegetables. I see that dew drops fall in the morning, then we spray ash in the plants after the dew falls. By spraying this over the plants, the insects will be destroyed. We need to spray once a day for three days. Spraying for three days will kill all the aphids. You can also use a bar of laundry soap. Rub the bar of soap in a tub of water until it bubbles. If you apply it once a day for three days, it helps to kill the aphids. You can spray it with a backpack sprayer. I dissolve one small packet of laundry soap 
in 10 liters of water to make a solution that is not too soapy and not too watery. I spray this solution in my lima bean field and the aphids disappear. If I spray this for three days in a row, all the aphids die. By using soap, we don't need to buy insecticides and it is better for the environment. These beans are healthy food. You can also use a neem solution to kill aphids on vegetables. Grind 2 kilograms of neem leaves and mix them with 16 liters of water and filter the solution. Likewise, by spraying once a day for 3 days, you can control the aphids. <laughs> The neem leaves have a bitter taste. When you spray the lima beans every day for three days, the aphids will go away. Ladybird beetles eat and kill aphids. The ladybird is a round black and red beetle. When it is young, it looks like a small alligator. The young ladybird beetles also eat aphids. Ladybird beetles also like to drink the sweet pollen of flowers. So, you can plant one row of sesame or mustard around the main crop to encourage the ladybird beetles to come to your crop and eat aphids. Mustard also attracts aphids away from the main crop because aphids like sap, and the yellow color of mustard plants. When the aphids get to the mustard, the ladybird beetles will kill them. Grow the mustard in one row around the main field. Plant the mustard seven days after planting the main crop. This way, the flowers will last longer. The mustard crop will flower at the right time to protect your crop. Let us listen again to what we have learned about controlling aphids in beans and vegetables. Visit your vegetable field often to look for aphids. If you find a colony of aphids, destroy them by pressing them with your fingers. Sprinkle ash on your beans or vegetables to control the aphids. Use the ash of rice husk, rice straw, or wood ash which will not burn the vegetable plants. Spray water mixed with laundry detergent soap to kill the aphids. You can also use a neem solution to kill aphids on vegetables. Plant sesame and mustard crops to attract ladybird beetles to control the aphids. By using these methods, you will get good beans and vegetables without aphids and without chemicals.